It is October, which means it is time for the MLB postseason. And today, I will be filling out my 2023 MLB postseason bracket. Once again, I did not watch as much baseball in the regular season like I was hoping to. Every year, I try to watch baseball more during the regular season. And I end up not being able to do it. It's tough to commit to a 162-game season. During 2020, when it was only a 60-game season, I was locked in from start to finish. But 162 games, that is just too much for me. And huge shout-out to anybody that can watch the baseball season and get invested from start to finish. But now that we're in the postseason, I am locked in, and I am filling out my bracket. And once this video gets uploaded, the playoffs begin today with the wild card round. And starting things off with the American League wild card, the Rays and the Rangers. Now, all of these predictions here are going to be 50-50, in my opinion, because I didn't watch much baseball this season. I watched the first maybe month and then kind of stepped away after the trade deadline. But I'm going to go with the Rangers. I do want to pick the Rays because I do think that they do offer the playoff experience compared to the Rangers. But I just feel like the Rangers they feel slightly better to me right now compared to the Rays. Now, I get the Rays won 99 games for a reason, but I think this Rangers team has what it takes to make a deep run. But will they do that? That is the question. Twins and Blue Jays. And I'm going to go with the Blue Jays. Now, with the postseason now being, well, the wild card rounds now being best two out of three. I do think this will get interesting here because I believe that these two teams have had the most quality starts this season among the playoff teams. But I'm going to go with the Blue Jays. Next up, the National League wild card, Phillies and Marlins. Now, I do know a bit about the Phillies. The Phillies, they had an up-and-down season. For the second year in a row, they get off to a slow start. And some of their fans question if this team has what it takes to make the playoffs. Or they don't think they're going to make the playoffs. But they found their way in the playoffs last season. They made it all the way to the World Series falling just short to the Astros. And the Marlins are a team that I didn't necessarily expect to make the playoffs. But I'm going to go with the Phillies. I just feel like with the Phillies making the run last season, falling just short, they are a team that is destined to get back to the world or try to get back to the World Series. And I have it being set up to where the Braves and Phillies go at it in the NLDS in a rematch of last year, where the Phillies, they ended up on top in that series. Brewers and Diamondbacks. I did not expect the Diamondbacks at all to make the playoffs, but they are in it being led by rookie Corbin Carroll. I just think the pitching of the Brewers will be the difference in this series. I'm going with the Brewers to face all against the Dodgers in the NLDS. On to the ALDS, Orioles and the Rangers. The Orioles are the surprise of Major League Baseball. I thought that they were at least maybe another year or two away from being where they're at. But they won 101 games this season. And that is impressive for any team. But they won 101 games. 
and the Rangers, as I mentioned a moment ago, I think they have what it takes to make a deep run. And this would be an awesome series. To see one of these teams in the ALCS, I think that's going to be really magical for, you know, storylines. And it's great to see some parody. But I do think that the Orioles are going to move on to the ALCS. And they will meet the winner of the Blue Jays and the Astros. And I got to go with the Astros in this one. I just think that experience matters. And the Astros have more experience than the Blue Jays do. NLDS now Braves and Phillies. The Braves, I feel like, are a much better team this season than last year. Matt Olson leads led the league in home runs this season. They have the most wins in baseball this year. They've been the best team throughout the year. Most base hits, most RBIs, most home runs. I'm going with the Braves to move on to the NLCS. And they take on the winner of the Brewers and the Dodgers. And I am going to pick the Dodgers. Now, I do get it if you do feel like that this kind of just feels bland to pick the three teams that won over 100 games and the Astros, but the way I just see this, I do think experience is going to matter. In the ALCS, Orioles and Astros, I think the magical run for the the Orioles ends here. I like the Astros to move on to the World Series. And they take on the winner of the Braves and the Dodgers in the NLCS. And I am going to go with the Braves. As for the World Series, I have a rematch from 2021, Astros and Braves. And in 2021, I almost predicted the MLB playoffs to an exact T. Problem was, the only thing I missed was I went back on what I predicted in the regular seat at the beginning of the season. Where I had the Braves win the World Series, I switched it to the Dodgers for my bracket video. But I am not going to make that mistake twice. In the World Series, I have the Braves over the Astros in six games. And I think the Atlanta Braves will be the 2023 World Series champions. So comment your predictions down below. Let me know how you think I did on my picks as I didn't watch much baseball this season and probably some people that would be a huge tell that I didn't based off of my bracket, but you never know. Crazier things have happened in sports. That's what makes sports so wonderful.